Geekography skills with creativity. Press that red button to subscribe. Yes, yes, that red button. Press and to subscribe. Now, yeah, press that bell. That school bell. Press and press and to the get our notification. Okay, guys. So today, this is our next tutorial. I will show you how you can create this step by step. So guys, let's get started. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Cobra Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Right now, I'll show you how you can create a two-layer 3D text effect on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive into this. Um, the first thing we do is just let's go into let have this whatever we call a sage um, so type this particular letter called sage and this means wise okay you can use any text of your choice then use a um, font called avidia you can get at the description of this video it's a free font which you can get on your uh google then you increase the size to your choice the depends then after that you position it to the center now after having this the next thing to do is to go to the color um having mind of choosing two particular color for this so when you look at it this is a light green why this is a pure white so this is a note just tap on it for you to view it this is white color then when you look at this this is touch of, touch of green light green so you can position that here okay perfect then you can bring it in a little bit the note just bring it or you can call it a color book it okay fine perfect now after having this the next thing you need to do is to go to uh, the stroke which will be the best best then when you go to stroke you can go to uh, let use this particular stuff so take it for instance we use this green over there to serve as our stroke so let's it go in okay okay perfect then make it to be something like two after that has been done then we'll go to the 3d text effect just enable the three test and uh, the oblique move it to there then make the depth to be two after that you uh, close the don't enable or you can enable depends on your choice but i'll let 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 enable then if it is blurry we change it so you can rotate this to 270 or 275 so let's say 270 280 it depends on your choice anyway so after that has been done so you can move the light angle to something like one plus so just be looking at it as you are rotating it let's say 116 so after that just if you are on enable you are not enable it let's see how it look so let's just leave it this way perfect then your shadow reduce it to 20 okay perfect now click ok now copy after you copy go to size you might decide to increase the size by five or six okay good then you go to the style just bold it it's not in there you go to the stroke then you increase the stroke to 12 or 13 or 14 depends now the color of the stroke need to be changed so i prefer to use the color of the stroke so let me use this why i will go back to the color itself so i will change the color to this now i will have a proper color uniform now go to relative position make sure you position to the center after that you are going to switch the first layer to all the second layer good now the next thing manually adjust it by using the position arrow just as perfect as this 
Yes, you manually adjust that. Okay, very cool. So the next thing we need to do after this has been done is to increase this bottom one a little bit in size to make it a 270. Once you do that, use your relative position to position to the center and you manually adjust it to fit in if possible. You can reduce the size to make it work perfectly. Or better still, go to this space just to make sure that everything properly placed on top of the bottom background need text so when you do that make sure you do the same thing then look at the upper one then you are going to apply the same stuff so when you're able to do that we can now um, manually adjust the stuff just follow the steps okay perfect now the next thing we need to do to make it cool you can now go to your shadow okay that's first thing go to the shadow reduce the shadow to 50 the opacity to 50 okay then the blur radius let it be two then you go to outer glow enable it your offset let it be uh, three the offset y offset x should be minus three very good now go to the bottom text area go to the shadow enable the shadow your opacity should be something like 75 your blur radius should be something like let's say three or four enable the outer glow your offset should be something like six y your offset y should be minus three okay why the offset s should be six okay perfect now we are good to go with the nice thing to put a finishing touch here go to the color just check me the color you have here is it really cool okay so we can bring it down to this particular area just to make it a more obvious okay and then you position this here let's check now so this is cool so we can now have uh let's make the white color everything pink like this okay perfect now go to the outer glow uh, inner shadow go to inner shadow and nipple the inner shadow then choose your color to be white at this angle so make it white okay then your offset x let it be something like three then offset y let it be something like three perfect then now we're good to go the next thing we need to do let's change <coughs> excuse let's change the background size to make it cool so let's use a proper picture i mean um, thumbnail size the youtube size okay to make it local so now you can select the two so when you select and reposition to the center to see how it look okay perfect so the next thing we need to do check we cannot check let's check the size this is 270 okay 270 this is 260 that's 10 different so we cannot increase the size this to 270 or 280 it depends so let's say 280 why this will be 290 okay perfect once you do that just position to the center and you automatically position this to the center as well then you manually adjust it to make it uh, look awesome now fine let's check something here go back to your 3d then when you get your 3d go to um let go let's a shoot stroke should be on enable then we'll check how it's a lock which shows that uh, we need to enable it to make it more cool so what about the depth uh, increasing the depth is not necessary so everything seems to be cool like this very good perfect so now the next thing we need to do is to let's apply a shock or a shock 
so we have um stroke here let me make it to be three or four then how our stroke will look like we'll make it a let's select this and that could be cool so let have that or better still we'll go back to our gradient just let's select one of our choice okay cool then we'll recheck let me check that is not color already choose the color of our choice then um, table if we we'll make our gradient something more lighter than this okay just lighter than this okay perfect okay very cool very cool now we're good to go the next thing we need to do is to uh, select the kind of the backgrounds we actually wanted so take it for instance if we can um let me make use of this Let's stop from this color. Okay. You can tell from the color here by going to the color area. Just tap empty and you adjust a little bit. Automatically make the color to be effect. So now we can go to where we want to select our background color then we select something of this nature so once we're able to do that then the next thing we need to do is to just adjust the color to our choice so i'm bringing this one forward why this should be uh reduced back a bit as well then i will select this uh, custom template then look at how the stuff look so we can just bring this one in just to make it uh, look uh, awesome okay perfect or uh, make it uh, more darker than expected so that the whole style will be showing at the middle so i believe one last something from here this is how to just uh, make a 3d text effort with a two layer on our android smartphone using our pc lab as i believe we'll learn something from here thanks for watching God bless you. So you can just put a finishing touch here by position these at the middle. So send this to the back. We'll make it to look best. Okay, perfect. So it will be like a kind of a radiating at the middle. Okay, perfect. Thank for watching once again. God bless you. So have your work being saved with a PNG. Then your custom should be saved with our ultra so save the work thanks for watching